What's in the sewer pipe? Below this cover? Yes, but sometimes there's other things as well. That's where Metro Vancouver's regulatory sampling team comes in. The team regularly collects samples of wastewater that will then be tested for contaminants. Industrial businesses must obtain permits from Metro Vancouver that strictly regulate the contaminants they can discharge into the sewer system, such as fats, oils and grease, metals, acids or organic matter. We could be looking for anything up to 5 to 50 different contaminants, um, you know, in, in one sample. These sampling tests are vital because contaminants can damage the wastewater treatment plants and also the environment. Unpermitted or unauthorized discharges that will end up, you know, causing a bigger issue, not just the plant, but also public health. The wastewater samples are then taken to Anastas Island Wastewater Treatment Plant in Delta for analysis in the lab. And it should be noted that it's up to all of us, not just industrial businesses, to protect our sewers and wastewater system. We find things, flushable wipes, grease, pharmaceuticals, all this stuff is expensive to remove and it's expensive to treat. So these are the only things that should go into the toilet. 